Lists can be very helpful when you're working with files because you can read the contents of a file into a list. But you need to be aware that most files, each item will have a new line character at the end of the line, so you'll need to pull that out before you can do things with it. So we're going to read in a file, and then we're going to look for an item, item in the file. And so I have a states.txt file, which I'm opening read only. So I'm in the main method. The first thing we have to do anytime you're working with a file is open the file. So I've called, I've made input file equal to my states.txt in read only mode. And then I'm having states, which is my list, equal input file dot read lines. Then you have to close the file, and we have all of the contents of the file saved in a list. We need to strip out that new line symbol, the slash n here. So to do that, we're going to set index to zero, and while index is less than the length of states, we're going to have states index equals state index dot r strip, which is stripping the slash n character from the right side. That's what the r strip means. So we have index of plus equals one, and I'm going to have it print the states out. So I want to do that twice for you. I'm going to try it without the while statement. And you can do uh, bulk comments in Python where you do multiple lines with three quotes. Oh, that only works at the top. That's interesting. Okay, so we're just going to comment out these lines. And this is a common technique I use while testing things. If I don't want to get rid of lines, I just want to disable them, I turn them into comments. It's a common debugging technique. Yeah, I'm going to ignore that. All right, so I'm going to run this. And so it's going to show you, because I'm printing everything, that each item is coming in with that slash n. And now Michigan won't be found, because even though Michigan is in here, it needs to be an exact match for the entire list item. So it shows Michigan is not in the territory. And we're looking to do if Michigan is in states. So it's checking to see if Michigan matches any of the fields. Now if we put this back together, and run it. You'll see that that strips out that new line symbol and now it finds Michigan in the territory. So that's how you read in a file, close the file, strip out that new line character, and then look for specific items inside that list that you created from the information in the file.